I've got a quick question. Why is it not okay for a girl to want to text a guy all day? But if a guy does it all day and a girl finds it creepy, it's the girl's a bitch. Or she's rude. Or her standards are too high. If a girl doesn't like a guy, oh, her standards are too high. But if a guy doesn't like a girl, oh, he just doesn't like her. And she's being overdramatic about being upset about it. Why? What's with the double standards? I don't get it. Why is it okay if a guy walks out on a girl who's pregnant, but if a girl walks out on the baby, she's the problem. It takes two people to raise a family. It takes two people to make the family. I think they're both wrong in that stance. I think nobody's allowed to have their own opinion without being judged. I think that I'm probably going to get a lot of hate if I actually posted this on YouTube or anything, which I'm debating doing still. I think that we live in a world full of judgmental sacks of crap, and it's ridiculous. For example, I get complained about that I text them too much. What, texting you every couple of hours to make sure you're okay is clingy? Okay, I'll be clingy. I would rather be known as being too clingy than being known as not caring enough. I had a friend who died, and I never answered her call. The day she died, I could have stopped her from doing so much crap when she got arrested and went to jail. I wasn't caring enough. So I am clingy. I don't want anyone to ever die without knowing they're loved. If that's not okay with you, there is a door right frickin' there. You don't need to be in my life. You're gonna judge me? Again, there is a door right frickin' there. I don't need this, and you don't need to be like this. If this was you we were talking about. Oh, woe is you. I'm being a judgmental person. Try not to swear too much. There's kids who watch my videos. Mostly family. Anyways, but if, if it was you, I need to care. But if it's me, oh well. C'est la vie. It's not your life. What does it matter? So why should I care about you? See, this world is full of double standards. If I sleep with a guy and he's got an ex-girlfriend that wants him back, I'm a whore. Because I followed my instincts and just did went with the flow for once. I'm a whore. But she does it. Oh, no. She's the good guy in this. She harasses me all day, all night for three weeks. She's not the bad guy. I am because I slept with him once. See, that's not okay. I'm supposed to know everything, but nobody tells me anything. I'm not a mind reader. Everything is so twisted. Everybody is so quick on making themselves the victim that they're creating real victims and treating them like they're the bad guy. It's ridiculous. I mean, this world is so backwards. It's kind of dark in here. Nope, that's even darker. No, oh, well. I mean, I don't get why it's not okay to do what you want. Even if you're not hurting anyone. Somebody's always going to get hurt by something whether it's really intended to hurt them or not. For example, I don't like some people. And I don't associate with them. Do you know what they do? They play victim and say I don't like them because... Insert bullshit reason here. Oh, excuse me. Um, insert reason here. And then make all these lies up saying I'm bullying them. So what, me singing is bullying? Kiss my butt. I like songs with mean lyrics. It's who I am. So I sing them out loud and you're automatically going to assume I'm bullying you? You're ignorant. You need to stop, the stop talking about me and just go. Just go. I don't talk about anybody without knowing the actual knowledge. I know. Everything I say about people are true. Because I sit there and put myself in the situation and I listen. You don't want it to be true? 
Fine, don't believe me. I'm a liar. Let me be your scapegoat. Doesn't hurt me any. It hurts you in the long run. I, I'm just so sick and tired of people. They're absolutely ignorant. And I'm not saying everyone is. I'm just saying some people are. And it's ridiculous, the fact that we cannot have our own lives without being judged. I have a bad habit of judging and I'm working on it. That's why from here and out, whenever someone goes to talk about someone, I'm going to say, let's drop it. Because I'm not going to let my, my life be run by being one of those girls. It's not me. It's not fun and it's stressful. I don't want my beautiful black hair to become gray by the time I'm 30. I I've got a lot more to say, but this video will be too long.